Darwin Milan, congratulations on your call up to the England T20 side. Describe that feeling and uh, what does it all mean to you? Um, well, it's an unbelievable feeling. I uh, wasn't expecting it at all. Uh, it means the world to me. It's, it's everything that I've been working for. It's the dream country to play international cricket and to represent England. Um, so from that point of view, it's you know I'm over the moon and I, you know I can't really describe it. I'm still speechless. Fantastic. Where were you when you took the call and uh, heard the news? I was on my way up to Brighton actually for the 50 over game. Um, Gus actually called me, Angus Fraser, and um, you know Simo was in the car, supposed to keep it a secret, and ended up telling everyone in the change room before <laughs> I had the chance still before it was announced. Fabulous. Now you're obviously very close to Owen Morgan, England's T20 captain. What's it been like actually skippering him as Middlesex's T20 captain this year? Um, yeah, Morgs is fine. He he just comes and goes about his business when he's not captain. Um, you know, he's the perfect team man. He fits into what you need. Is there's no complaining. There's no ego, um, and he's happy to to lend a hand when you need it. So um, you know, from that point of view, it's fantastic. You know, I've played under him quite a bit, so I've actually learned quite a lot off him because um, he's a fantastic captain. You know, he just proves what he's done with England cricket. And I guess you've got to be nice to him this evening because you're going to want to be playing under him for England against Sri Lanka in a couple of weeks. Yeah, I do. Um, I need him to pick me now, so uh, that's the first step. But um, Look, it's, uh, I'm in the squad and that's, that's, I'm really happy with that, so at the time being, that's all I'm, I'm worried about. Awesome. Dove, you've been incredibly patient. I mean, you've been Middlesex's white ball standout cricketer for some time now. Did you, were you at a point where you thought the call might not come, or have you always maintained that degree of optimism that it was on the way? Uh, to be honest, I probably gave up a little bit. Um, you know, I still worked my socks off, I still had the ambitions to play in Sasha cricket, but deep inside me I sort of thought I'd missed the boat. I thought it sort of got to the stage where... Um, where younger players are always in it looked at or you know if your face didn't fit or that type of scenario and um, you know fortunately at the end of last year I got given an opportunity to play in the A team and um, you know I took that opportunity and, and fortunately enough you know I've, I've been picked for this series. Talking of that time you spent with the England A side Darby, you did exceptionally well with the Lions, you averaged over 50 uh, in the T20 series, averaged over 50 in the one day stuff. How important the stepping stone do you think the Lions is and, and how, much, how, how much of a role do you think that's played in getting you noticed with the selectors? Um, I think it's a massive, massive stepping stone. Um, you know, I think it's the, the link between county cricket and international cricket and you know, to, to work in that environment and for them to see what you like at that level, um, at not only as a player but as a bloke and they can sort of see what your shortfalls are and what your strengths are and whether you've got the game to succeed at the higher level and I think that's important from the coaching staff, from the England coaching staff, from the England selectors and captain to see that you can breach that gap. OK, back on to home soil, you've also just been named as the Brooks McDonald Player of the Month for May. Uh, you hit 355 runs at 71, including 200s against Hampshire. How optimistic or how hopeful are you that uh, that Red Bull form might get noticed? Yeah, you know, it's it's a strange one because I think my forward cricket has been pretty consistent over the last three years and, um, you know, your name never seems to get mentioned in, in that format but always in the shorter format. So, look, at, as I said before, I sort of gave up hope uh, last year. I sort of thought that I'd missed the boat but now, you know, being involved in the squad, I, I still believe anything's possible and if I can keep scoring the runs then who knows what can happen. Excellent. Well, it's been a bit of a frustrating Red Bull campaign for Middlesex. The weather's played a fairly massive part in us managing to draw the first six. We've got a win in our last encounter against Hampshire and Merchant Taylors. How's that changed the mood in the camp? Uh, massively. You know, it's, it, it was a frustrating time. We've probably been in, in the, I think it was the six games before or five games before, we've been in positions where we can win the game and the rain's just sort of taking too much time out of the game for us to push for, uh, towards it. So... It was a bit, a bit frustrating, especially when we were, I think we were third from bottom and we'd been playing good cricket and just not look like winning a game because of the weather. So that win's been a massive help and it's put us back on track because you know, the table's really tight this year. David, I'm sure I can speak on behalf of everyone in, uh, in congratulating you on the England call-up and, and on winning the Player of the Month for Brooks McDonald from May uh, and uh, also in wishing you every success for the forthcoming T20 against uh, Sri Lanka. Good luck, mate. Thank you very much.